Who is that? Harrison, the attorney for our mysterious owner and employer. And what did he want? Our lives. This academy has been in my family for years. This is not some California school for one million showbiz careers. This is a school of classical ballet. This is one of the best in the world come to study here. I only sold it to make ends meet. I never thought it would come to this. Has this patron of the arts found a director for his new money-making jazz program? It's another piece of information I'm sure you'd like to hear. He's chosen his nephew, David Bronson. David Bronson, where is he coming here from? Jail. Hey. I got a deal for both of us. Oh, God, not another Listen, deal. Listen, look around you. What do you see? Come on, what do you see? You see fruit everywhere, right? That's right. I see fruits everywhere. Right, and a lot of it's going bad. Well, you can't get rich on rotten fruit, right? Right. Wrong. Wrong. This dump is but a I gold mine, man. Gold a gold I'm mine. I'm driving a forklift in a gold our... mine. Hey, listen. The answer to our dreams is in alcohol. Get it? Alcohol. Come on. People drink it. People rub it all over them. They put the damn stuff in your radiators, man. We're shitting on top of... Oh, fuck. Fuck. Oh. <laughs> Man, that guy was crazy. God, he's gross. Quiet, dear. He's obviously had an accident. Is this thing, is this cat yours? Look, I'm really sorry. Here. Yours now. Really? Really. Thanks. How many miles to the academy, dear? About five. Where do we leave you? Huh? Academy. Academy. Perfect game. Bronson, you must be Miss McKenzie. Guess I'm all yours. Mr. Bronson, I'm sure. Best of it. It's a tall lady. Ooh. Now look around you, Maggie. You know, because one day an estate like this could be all yours. Oh, God, I wish I could 
could have played this on my last session in New York. I mean, it's beautiful. <laughs> Are a disgrace. What's your name? I'm Vince. Vince Johnson. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I don't see you here on my list. I'm not there. Are you sure I'm not? All right. He's with me. It's a special project of mine. My uncle knows all about it. Vince here just had an accident on his way up here today, didn't you, Vince? Terrible accident. He certainly did. Well, go off and get changed, because it's going to take weeks to get your memory out of this room. <laughs> <laughs> now, for the rest of you, let me say welcome. This academy is going to be a special experience for all of you. We're here to help you, to mold you into the finest professional dancers you can be. I expect nothing less, and neither should you.
You must be Patrizia. I'm Claudia Gioni. I know. It's a special pleasure to meet you. My name is David Bronson. I'm known in the rock world as Moon. The board is voting $1 million grant if that new modern jazz program is successful. A million bucks for Bronson? I hear they don't even call him David or Mr. Bronson. They call him Moon. Be strong, Percy. It won't be forever. Some of you have no idea what you're gonna do with your lives. Well, you're gonna learn in here quick. Savvy. I don't like you. <laughs> and I don't care if you don't like me. The best of you will perform in the Hollywood Showcase in June. The rest of you will either quit altogether or tempt another area in this business we call show. Those of you who do quit will be encouraged to do so by me. We have no time to nurture losers. None. Savvy? Good. I want you to keep your eyes open. I want you to watch everything he does. We've got to outwit them. Get that thing washed. Come on, Miss Pristine. You're good at being late. Let's see if you're good at anything else. My name is Jana Coloni. And this is what I do. Music. Okay, you actually show some promise. You have some interesting moves. But what I liked is the fact that when I stopped the music, you didn't stop dancing. All right, we meet back here after lunch. Yo, Mr. Moon, what about you? You said you were good, but we'd like to see it. <laughs> Let me just take a minute before you leave to talk about the difference between being great and thinking you're great. Those that are not great spend their time telling everybody how good they are instead of working on becoming the best. You lost your stuff, right? That's why you're teaching, right? Uh. The ones that are great have no time for the talk. more 
questions. Moon. <laughs> it's gonna be him or me. We need to talk about our future. We have no future. Do you know you're the second woman that's told me that this month? Really? Yeah. How many other women around have got your number? Jana, for one. Jana thinks she's got everybody's number. Ooh. Well, maybe we won't discuss our future. Maybe we can get together and uh, discuss idle, vicious gossip about everybody else. <laughs> Yo, Tommy. Hey. Can we call a mechanic or an undertaker? Nah, neither. But I could use it some advice. This piece of shit? No. Not cars, women. And you, being who you are, know quite a bit about women, don't you? I wrote the book. <laughs> okay, you want advice? You want advice from me? All right, come here. I'll tell you what. Look at you. You're a mess. You're dirty, you're sweaty, you smell. Your hair, I mean, valley boy yuck. Your shirt, what? look at this. Flannel t-shirt, what is this, village people? That's a long time gone. The jeans, the, the tennis shoes. Thanks for look, the you're advice. You're a big guy. We gotta get what? you some pants that fit. This baggy um, stuff, it makes you look huge. You're thanks. a big, hey, yeah. I'm the Casanova of clothing, Good advice, okay? Johnny T. Designer nice of designer. Advice. Oh, that's it. I gotta get out of here. I need a break. I've got to hear some music right now. Not that tape again. <laughs> no. Live music, Jana, with people and drinks and lots and lots of men. <laughs> the street calling you, Paula? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> you want to come? No. Oh, come on, Jana. You always say no. Come on. Don't you want to come and have some no. fun? Well, that's uh, the breaks. See ya. Bye. Hey, Percy, can't I'm late? Would you get out of my way? I got no time for this. Percy, let's bury the hatchet. What do you say? Look, some of the students and I are going down to the dew drop in tonight to hoist a few. You're welcome to join us. I'll buy. Sure. Okay, no problem. You want to get out of my way? See you there. Thank you. David Bronson just extended me a peace offering. He wants me to have drinks with him and his delinquents tonight. I think you should do just that. Mm -hmm. But maybe you'll find some interesting information. Maybe you'll find his weak point, his Achilles heel. Mm. Maybe. We can get him thrown back in jail again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. Put it on my tab. I'd like to show you. Here. Thanks. Pass him down. It's on me. Anyway, I want to show you You don't want one? No. This is our first day. This is our second day. <laughs> mm. Yo, Percy! Go! Over here! Oh, you're kidding. All right, be nice. <laughs> But you are my lady apology, you clumsy jerk! 
Hey, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. You're sorry. Tell Percy, tell the nice guy you're sorry. Hey, just shut up. Stay out. Shut up, and I'm not sorry. You're gonna be sorry. Oh. Hey, T. Hey, T. Help out. Gosh. Let's get out of here. Come on, help me get some You're missing the fight, but get out of here. Come on, you're missing the fight. Look at the big guy. You bitch. You bitch. I'm not your mother. I'm not that old. What can I do for you? You can get Percival Granville up here right now. You are holding him here against his will. You're not going to believe this, lady. But everyone I got downstairs is being held against their will. trying to get rid of you or Bronson. Look, it's not my fault. You are a walking fault. You get into trouble, I have to bail you out. It was now if anyone landed in jail, it should have been Bronson, not you. I was when I... Listen to me. Next time, I'm gonna leave you there. Let it build. Let it build. That's close. That's a start. But it's not it. You gotta make it work for yourself. It's not gonna come anywhere else. I take the time. I'll work with you. But you've gotta work with me. And what I saw there is only the beginning. I don't care if it takes all year. You understand? All year, I'll be here. You have nowhere to go. You're here every day. You got to see me every day. You got to look at my face, and you got to hear me tell you that it ain't there yet. Oh. Wow. <sighs> Jenna, I'm sorry. Are you OK? You've got What do you think you're doing? <laughs> you probably won't believe me, but I was just brushing you off, because when you fell, you got You're stuck. right. I won't. Hey, look, I'm sorry, OK? What can I do? Can Just stay out of my life, okay? It'd be really hard for me to stay out of your life if we were having dinner together. No dinner. Breakfast, early morning sunrise. Okay, a boxed lunch, maybe. A snack, Ritz on a cracker, cheese whiz. I don't... Look. I won't make wild, passionate love to you for at least the first two years of a fire courtship. Really? Oh. Hey, nine o'clock. 
one dinner. I still don't understand why you brought that bag to dinner. I told you, it's not my stuff. It's a friend's. Just returning it to him. Thank you. He works here during the days. Hi, Johnson, you too. Right this way, sir. Since I was little. How about you? Uh, I'm sorry, but I, I'm a very sick uncle. And you're going to have to excuse me. I really should call the hospital for a report. OK? OK. This, this, this won't take long. Sure. sure. Be right back. I hope he's all right. Hand me my bag, please. Quickly. I'll give it to you later. You're already 15 minutes late. I know, I know. I'm sorry. I, ha I had car problems. It won't happen again. It's your horn. Start with that and keep the tag straight and watch the car the way down to the garage. Okay. I gotta go inside for a second. You're in charge till I get no back. No problem. Got it under control. Have a nice evening. Oh. Man, you're, you're too... Thank you for waiting. Can I have your keys? No, no. Listen, I just saw your performance down there. I'm not, I'm driving down here. No, no, I'm sorry. Down. I'm sorry you can't, but company policy is that customers are not allowed to drive their cars down to the garage. Insurance. Can I have oh. your keys? Hey, okay, Thank okay, you. Okay, you better be careful. Enjoy your meal. <laughs> Listen, man, I gotta go to the head. Oh. I'll be right back. You got five minutes, Max. Thanks. I'm sorry. For what? Your uncle. Who? Lou? I guess. I don't think he's really had it this time. That's it? It's just over like that? He's a live one. Who? Lou! 
I thought he was dying. Um, enough about my family, okay? Sure. You hungry? Okay, good. Okay. Excuse me. Can you order? Excuse Wait. me, sir. You have an urgent phone call. I really should get that. My uncle. Um, can you order for me? Yeah? Great. I'll, I'll make this quick. Excuse me. Um... Thanks. You know, I gotta get those brakes checked on the bed and feel really mushy. I hope you enjoyed yourself in there, because that's your last break on this job. I gotta go see the boss. Now park it. It's real close now. It's just hours away. Is there anything we can do? No. Should we go to the hospital? Oh, no, no. Uh, um, poor guy probably wouldn't even notice we were there. I guess it's just his time. So it's just his time. Um, Jana, we gotta go. Over there. No, I'm not. Let's go now. Come on. What the hell was that all about? We didn't even eat. Oh, I'm sorry. Is it your uncle? What does he have to do with anything? He's dying. No, no, no. That's that's not him. That's my great aunt. You know, you really are nothing but a stupid clown. <clears throat> I can't stand you. You don't even have a dying uncle. No, I don't. Hey, if you'd like me to, maybe I can run out and find you one. You made a fool out of me, and I'm fool, stupid enough to let fool, you... I made a fool out of you? No, huh? Don't even try that one, baby. Let me tell you about being a fool, okay? I didn't have any money to take you out to dinner tonight. I got fired from my last job. But I wanted to take you out so bad that... I went out and got myself another job today after you said you'd go to dinner with me. Do you want to know what I was doing? I was out parking cars to pay for our meal. I was sat on by a 300-pound lady. I dented the front end of a station wagon owned by priests. How about this one? You'll like this a lot. I totaled a vintage Corvette owned by two huge football players. Fool. Yeah. You're full, huh? Let it out. Laugh. Go ahead. Come on, let it roll. I see it building up in there. Come on, laugh at me. Laugh at the fool, little rich girl. Come here. Thank you. 
Say we go make mad, passionate love. I thought you said we wait two years. I lied. Come on. Exercising the chickens. Come on. Hut, hut, ho, three, jump. Hut, ho, three, jump. Jump, hut, ho, hip, jump. Hut, ho, hip, jump. What are you doing up this early? Nobody gets up this early except farmers. Oh, I couldn't sleep. Hut, ho, hip, ho. Hut, hip, ho. Hut, ho. In love. Nobody smiles like that without being in love. Makes them do strange, strange things. Well, come on, train these chickens now. Hip, jump, hook, hoop, re, jump, hut, hook, hip, hip, jump, hut, hoop, hut, hoop, yeah. hip, jump, hut, hoop. Yeah. Sister. 
stuff myself and I think that we should get together combine our talents and do something for the show <laughs> think about it Sorry, I haven't got him yet. The rumors I started about him made him more of a legend than a misfit. Well, we don't have much time, do we, Percy? 
We'll have to think of something, won't we? There's the end of the year show to do. There's the board of directors day. I've got Patrizia and she's fabulous. You don't have Patrizia. Claudia has Patrizia. You have nothing. Well, I guess you'll have to perform again for the board day show. All right. I'll think of something. I'll get him so bad that even his uncle won't be able to save him. All right, we're going to work with a partner. We're going to do improvs. I want you to listen with your bodies, with your mind, through the eyes. Work as one. I don't want to see two individuals. I want to see one person moving across the floor. Start with Jana and Vince. Let's go! This is what I'm talking about. You just witnessed a perfect execution of what I asked them to do. For Vince and Jenna, you just experienced a breakthrough. Nothing but up from here on out. Just keep working like you're working and listening and concentrating. As for the rest of you, please work to join them there. There's gonna be a party tonight Clap to the beat Dance to the music Go tell the street The 
afternoon nothing good i got studio booked no yeah really <laughs> yeah. that's great we can start working on the songs i can't wait good i'm ready great <laughs> i'll pick you up later yeah all right
Yep. McKenzie gets me. Style. Always. I gotta go. I really do. Evening, Percy. Looks like uh, you and she have become good friends. Yeah. She's a great songwriter. And singer. Yeah? How does she dance? She does that very well, also. Well, uh, word has it that you and she are becoming a real interesting situation. And what do you mean by that? I think you know. You know you can be, uh, Dismissed for fraternizing oh. <laughs> with a female student. Really, Percival? I had no idea. Well, you know, I would never do anything like that, seeing as how I'm a real by the rules kind of a guy. Really? Mooney? I really don't think you can help yourself with a cute little piece like that. Go ahead! Go ahead! I'll be there to wave goodbye when they send you back to jail. By the way, uh, you might be interested in having a copy of some of the photos I took your little recording session. It really shows you just how closely uh, two people can work together on a project. What? I said I gotta go, Purse. See ya. You really come along next. All right, let's do the isolation series. Here we go. Jenna, come on. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, ha, ha. Show, show, together, one. Good. Can I talk to you for a minute? Sure. Jenna, take over, please. Yes? I really feel like I could learn from one of those improvisational things with Vince. I feel kind of weird asking him. Do you think you could set it up? Sure, Maggie. Academy? All right.
So where was that you wanted to go again? Let's go dancing. I know this really cool club. Really cool club? <laughs> I'm a happy kid. It's time to go home. Oh, You've had enough. Early. I've had enough. Look, it's early. It's way early. It's <laughs> too early. <laughs> But after last night, well, things have changed. Who's a jerk? Vince. I spent the most wonderful night of my life with him. The whole night. It says we need to make some time to mix our songs. The show is next week. Yeah, I know. It's all right. You're busy, I'm busy. I'll go in and do what I can, all right? No. Excuse me, but I'm never too busy to mix my own stuff. Oh, come on. Come on what? I just said I'll go in and mix it, right? No, it is not all right. David, what is going on? Or did I do something, or I, I didn't do something, maybe? I just think you should spend your time rehearsing your dance for the show. Rehearsing my dance for the show? What's that got to do with our music? You know, this is some of the best stuff I've ever written. David, talk to me. What's happening here? I mean, you don't return my phone calls. You act like you don't even want me around and like you don't even know me. It is not that. I'm just really busy preparing for the show, that's all. Paula, I'm just busy. Okay, well, when you get unbusy, you better hope I'm still around. I think maybe you have forgotten that this is a dance academy. Oh, is it really? Yes. And the way your dancing looks, I know exactly where you should be every minute until the show. Oh, and where's that? Rehearsing! What the hell is going on in here? I'm rearranging the room. It's time for a change. Yeah, well, you got that right. One time, I finally start to feel whole, and I was suckered. This I'm coming. Who has that coming, Jana? God, I hate men. So, one man. And out and up. And what? Okay. Arms in fifth, plie. Hello, it's me. I have known exactly. you all 
good. Once you call him back real quick, he said something about a car loan in, in September. My old man wants everything real quick. He can wait. It's Jana, right? Was it that obvious? It's that obvious. What did I do to her, man? What, what did I do wrong? The dance with Maggie didn't help a whole lot. Maggie? With Maggie? Yeah, stupid, with Maggie. Maggie? Come on, man. No. No, that was a dance, man. It wasn't a dance. It, it was just a dance. It wasn't a dance. No, it was just a dance. No, it was more like a mating ritual. Oh, and Vince, if I didn't know you better, I'd be ready to have you for lunch, too. OK. Then why aren't you mad at Maggie? I expect that from her. Like, she's hopelessly shallow. She's conniving, spoiled, superficial. That's what intrigues me about her. I love it. You're sick. Listen, you've been had. You played the fool. Now look, I'm working on a way, a little bit of time, I fix everything. I fix it. I'm that kind of guy. Remember back when I was talking about the difference between being great and thinking you're great. <laughs> and those that are great, they don't have to talk. You guys never have to say a word to nobody. Good. Let's have one last inspiring improv before the show's opening night. We have Johnny T. And Little Miss Jam. Okay, clear the floor. Let's go.
the janitor's office. Yeah, well, at least he doesn't have you in it very often now, oh, does it? hostility. I feel a little hostility here. What do you want? Make it quick. <laughs> I want to make a deal. I'm listening. Miss McKenzie and myself feel that, uh, that the Academy would be better off if you were to, say, resign in light of certain improprieties that have gone on in recent weeks. What you do, huh? The pictures will be off. I might just have to show them to the whole board of directors at their annual meeting. Get out of here. Now! I'm leaving. No need for violence. Yeah, Moon. What? Look, I need a big favor. Gotta call my chips. Sure. Anything. Well, Percy's got me in a bad bind. I can't get into the details, but here's what we got to do. You know he's performing for the board of directors, right? Woo! <laughs> First he's going to have to show his life. <laughs> Slipping in a slide. Should have learned a long time ago. You don't mess around with Mother Nature. And, and you, you don't, don't mess, mess around, Without further delay, may I introduce our director of classical ballet, Mr. Percy Granville. He's going to perform a piece from his latest. You know, I really think you should show your pictures to the board today. After that performance, they're going to believe anything you have to tell them. So beautiful. Oh, my God. You were great. You were beautiful. Oh, God. summer till next Monday. I don't care. I can't do it. I'm no dancer and I never will be. Did you say goodbye to the moon? Did you tell him for me? I don't want to go through this again. I'm 
besides, he'll... I think I'm a quitter and just be glad I'm gone. I don't think so. I really think he cares. I really do. She's got a funny way of showing it. you're a real dancer. Jen, where is Paul? I've been looking all over for her. She left. Oh, you mean she left? You mean she's gone? Yes. No goodbye? No nothing? I guess she figured it wouldn't matter. What do you mean, it wouldn't matter? Of course, it all right! It matters. All right, everybody, let's go. It's time. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the McKinsey Academy of Dance proudly presents Breaking Out.
My name is Richard Harrison, and I'm the attorney for the owner of the Academy. This is a man who usually likes his privacy, but he is so thrilled by what he has seen here tonight that he has decided to present the Board of Director Million Dollar Award himself. It gives me great pleasure to introduce the owner of the Academy. Please welcome Mr. John Brewster. and its board of directors made a deal this year. So at this time, I'd like to present to the Academy this check. Now, it's also my pleasure this evening to announce that the board has been extremely pleased with the first year of the jazz dance program. And because of his good work, they have decided to make David Brownson the new director of all dance of the Academy, answering only to Miss McKenzie. Let's welcome Mr. David Brownson. thinking that it was a shame to lose all these fine dancers after all their hard work. So I went back to see what I could do about it. I'm sure these fine students neglected to read the fine print of their acceptance contracts to the Academy. So I'd like to do that for you now, for their benefit. It says here, I, the undersigned, do hereby agree to give part-time service for at least one year following the completion of my studies to help teach those who come after me. So we're going to see you all in September. You savvy? <laughs> yeah! 